Yo, yo, I'm Drew Gilchrist, and people have been asking me about the viability of mixing strains. Like, is mixing strains worth it? And I wanted to go through that today because I think there's a lot more that goes into this than you might think. I'm gonna talk about the good and the bad. So, yeah, before we get into this, Quick message from our sponsor of the day, The Goods. Yo, The Goods have some amazing products over on their website. They have these Strawnana pens that taste absolutely amazing. I have been loving them. And guys, Marty from The Goods has been streaming on Twitch. He's been doing bear giveaways over there. Definitely follow Marty's Twitch. It'll be linked in the pin comment down below, along with The Goods website, where you can get 20% off with discount code DREW420. And remember guys, even just clicking on the link for the sponsors, checking them out really, really does help. So thank you guys, and let's go on with this video. So there's a few situations where mixing strains can definitely benefit you, but there's also a few situations where uh, it's not gonna go quite so well. So I wanted to talk about the bad first, then talk about the good, and then also I'm gonna mix two strains together and then see how that's coming out as. But the first thing I wanted to talk about here that can definitely go really wrong is the taste. Now some strains just don't have the terps to complement each other. Find that's a very key factor when mixing strains. Like imagine if you got some cheese and then mix it together in a joint with some wedding cake. Like those two turp profiles, at least in my head, like as I'm thinking about it, wouldn't really mix together too well. Like you're probably just gonna end up with some janky tasting cheese. Like the cheese is gonna overpower the wedding cake bears and it's just gonna taste slightly off and you'd be better off smoking the wedding cake by itself or the cheese by itself, you know? But the taste isn't the only thing that can go bad when mixing strains. One thing that I found can go really wrong is actually the burn. Now I smoke pure, so I'm trying to make sure I'm always only smoking like the cleanest of bud, like nice and white ash, like, you know, burning proper clean, right? And there's many times when I'll have two different strains and, you know, I think the turps would go together really nicely and I'm thinking, yeah, I'm gonna mix them together. I get them out, I grind them up, I smoke them. And suddenly it's smoking like almost black ash. Like it's not burning nice. Like it's it's got bare bits in it and it's not good, but, I've got these two strains and both of them were clean, like both of them were pure white ash. How come when I've mixed them together, suddenly it's burning jank? And this has happened to me a fair few times. Like it's not just been like a one-off, it's happened quite a few times. And the only thing that I can really think of that would be causing this is the moisture levels between the two buds. Because you can have both of them burning super nice and clean, but then have them be at like completely different moisture levels. So like, you know, there's slightly more moisture in one than the other. Then you mix them together and that like moisture difference throughout the bud could then cause an inconsistent burn, which then kind of messes up the taste, like causes the like little bits of black in the ash and stuff and just doesn't go down too well. So sometimes you could be thinking, damn, I'm gonna have the best mix in the world and you mix them together and then just in the way that it burns, it just isn't a nice experience anymore. It's actually so annoying. I wanna know, do you guys have this happen to you ever? Because it's happened to me quite a few times. Right, enough with the bad, I wanna talk about the good. Now, I've actually got some uh, London pound cake and some banana runts, and I've mixed these two together in a J. So we're gonna spark up this and see what it's like. Hopefully, it's a good mix, <laughs> I'm, I'm hoping so. But you know how I said that the taste can be a bad thing? Well, the taste can also be a really, really good thing. Like sometimes you can have two strains that really, really complement each other. Like let's say for example, you had a cookies and an OG strain. Like those two tastes are gonna come together amazing. And sometimes when you mix these two things together, it creates a taste that is so much better than both of them individually. Like I've had times where I've had strains that complement each other and then I've just not smoked them individually. I've mixed them every single joint until I run out of both of them. But like I said, to get that, you have to make sure that these two strains complement each other mad. And also at the same time, you kind of have to get lucky and make sure that like the two buds, uh, you know, have the same moisture level and don't start burning jack when you mix them together. Oh, oh, that is tasting amazing. That's like pure gas. That is the mix that we wanted. That's what I'm saying, like, wow. These two taste together, mad. That is coming out great. Yeah, that is, that is mad. Burning super nice as a mix, taste banging, this, this is what I'm talking about when I say a good complimentary mix. Oh my God. But right, okay, you know how I also said that the burn can be a bad thing? 
Well, sometimes it can actually be the complete opposite of that. Because sometimes, you know, you could get some bud and it's not burning quite so clean as you'd want it. You know, it's not like this pure white ash. There's like a little bit of bits in it, like, you know, and it's tasting not quite as good as it could. And it's just a bit of a disappointing experience in general. Well, sometimes you can get some really, really clean bud and literally just get a tiny little nug from it, literally something super tiny, and then mix it in with that one that was slightly disappointing. And then bam, the burn is back, baby. I'm talking the purest of clean of clean. Suddenly the taste is coming out mad. Because sometimes you can have a not quite so clean bug, mix it with a clean one, and then bam, it's coming out super clean. That mix makes it suddenly burn banging. Like sometimes that is a lifesaver. Like that can be the difference between throwing away your bud or keeping it. I've had that happen to me many times where you pick up a bunch of different strains. One of them's not quite so good. You don't really want to smoke it. It's not like good enough to smoke by itself, but then you mix it with something else and it makes it totally smokable and even an enjoyable experience. But it doesn't work all the time as for the reasons that I stated earlier, but when it does, oh my God, it's perfect. Yo, I just wanted to put this bit in here because somehow in this video, I didn't mention the effects. And I think it's mainly because whenever I'm mixing two different strains, I usually have weed that has like the same effects anyway. Like I'm not usually gonna buy something that has crazy different effects than what I look for in the first place. So I've never really had an experience where I've mixed two different strains together that give like two totally different types of effects. Like say one super indica and one super sativa and then you mix them together and then maybe somehow get like a crazy hybrid effect. I haven't personally experienced that myself. So I wanted to ask you guys, whether that is a thing, because I'm not too sure, because it, yeah, it literally wasn't something that came into my mind when filming this, because I've never really experienced it. Or maybe I have, but I haven't really taken notice of it. So let me know, does mixing strains like two different effects end up combining to make like one effect, or can you feel one and the other? How does that really work? I wanna know. Um, because yeah, I totally didn't think about it when I was filming this video and I wanted to put this in here to make sure that I, I got it in here. Otherwise, all the comments were gonna be, but what about the effects, but what about the effects? Yeah, so this is my opinion on the effects. <laughs> so those are my reasons for and against mixing strains. I wanna know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Do you like mixing strains? Have you ever had a banging mix that you would love to have again? Like what is your favorite two strains to mix together? I wanna know, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Yo, people, if you like this video, make sure to hit the like button and hit the subscribe button down there. That way you can actually see whenever I upload a new video and hit the notification bell because seriously, I'm not gonna be on your homepages forever. Like, we've seen a couple of videos now uh, just not hit homepages at, at all. So yeah, make sure you hit that notification bell. And I'm gonna be live streaming later on today at 9 p.m. on Twitch. The link for that will be in the pinned comment down below. I don't play games on Twitch. I literally just chill, smoke up, and I answer your guys' questions. So hopefully I'll see you there at nine o'clock. And uh, yeah, have a good day. And uh, yeah, check out the sponsor, the goods. Pinned comment down below. Check it. Marty's Twitch as well. Check him. Right, people. Catch you in a bit. Peace.